right guys, so to kick things off, I first want to make mention that I'm not going to waste any time going over boring things like specifications. So if you want to know what the speaker's dimensions are or what the power efficiency rating is, then all you have to do is click on the description box down below and I'll have a link that'll send you directly to Harvest website so you can get that information. Otherwise, I want to spend some time talking about what makes the P3 ESRs so special. So let's get right to it. All right guys, and here they are. So I admit that on the surface of things, the P3 ESRs look like a pair of normal two-way monitors, albeit beautiful and very well-made two-way monitors. They feature a portless design, which means they're sealed, and this gives them performance benefits, particularly as it pertains to the low end. And the driver complement is going to be a simple one-inch aluminum dome tweeter. And don't be fooled by the looks, guys. This is a metal dome tweeter, not a soft dome. And then we have a five-inch woofer cone. Now. The woofer is really, as they say, where the magic happens. And that's because Harbeth essentially developed this driver from scratch. And the material that basically comprises of the cone is called radial. Now, I can't tell you exactly what this material is made of, but I do know it's the result of a 10-year project that the British government funded. And the whole point was to find a material that is essentially uh, suitable for hi-fi applications because the driver materials that uh, most manufacturers use like polypropylene and paper really were never designed with hi-fi in mind so this was essentially developed to be an uncompromising material for a woofer cone and Harbeth claims that this is what makes their speakers sound the way that they do and as a random aside I also love the fact that the P3 ESRs owe their lineage to a 40-year-old design called the LS35A, which was developed a long time ago, basically to get a compact speaker to give you big performance and to particularly excel with human speech. So with that said, let's talk about how they sound. All right, guys, so this is when things get really, really interesting. And I say that because if you were to take, say, a dozen speakers at the price point that these currently rest at, then you're going to find a lot of products that can objectively outperform these. You're going to find speakers that are more refined sounding. You're going to find speakers that throw out a wider sound stage, that give you more bass, that just sound more dynamic, and so on and so forth. Yet, when you get right down to it, these speakers are voiced in a way that almost make you forget about all those other frilly hi-fi things. And it's a reason why so many people have fallen in love and swear by the Harbeth sound. So I'm going to take a minute and try to explain why so many people love this sound and what you can expect out of a pair of P3 ESRs. So let's get to it. So when you get right down to it, the Harbeth P3 ESRs have a very pleasant voicing to them. The top end is rarely offensive, and that's because it actually starts dropping off at 15 kilohertz. So despite it being a metal dome, it can actually sound relatively smooth, yet just have enough grit to give instruments a sense of bite and a sense of realistic tone. The mid-range is by far the most salient attribute of this loudspeaker. It's very rich, it's very organic, it just sounds fantastic. It's very pleasant to listen to, and when it comes to things like human speech, guitar, violin, and so on and so forth, it just sounds, well, it doesn't sound like a pair of $2,000 monitors, it sounds like a legitimate pair of reference speakers. And the mid-range is what keeps so many people coming back to these particular loudspeakers, because it is just that good. A lot of people throw around the world, the word, excuse me, natural, and I would actually agree with that synopsis. Now, to be clear though, I'm not sure if natural is the best word because to say that these are natural would be to imply that everything else isn't. And I'm not sure if that's the case, but nonetheless, the mid-range does sound exceptional. And pretty much everything in the middle C tonal range is gonna sound very good on these. And the bass, Actually, the bass is surprisingly stout when you consider that these are very compact speakers with a huge crossover inside and they have all this padding in there. So the woofer has almost no cabinet volume to work with. And what these things dish out is actually pretty impressive. 
And dynamics, all right, this is where they start to run into a brick wall. They're not the most dynamic speakers. They're definitely not for somebody who listens to EDM or metal or rock or anything at high volumes. Uh, and that's going to be their general compromise, is if you use them in a typical hi-fi application, which is on high-end components and you put them out into the room and this is your main system, then they're going to be more for people who listen to simple uh, music. So if you're somebody who listens to EDM and all the other genres I just mentioned, then yeah, these probably aren't for you. But if you're somebody who values tone and you're somebody who wants to sit down and just listen for hours and hours on end and not give a crap about things like air and all these other different hi-fi adjectives, then yeah, the P3 ESRs are absolutely astounding. So that leads me to my final thoughts on the P3 ESRs. All right, so confession time. I've actually owned these speakers for close to five years now. Obviously, I like them. And it's easy for me to understand why so many people all over the world love these speakers. The voicing is just so well done. Again, they're not neutral speakers. And yeah, they do have their limitations because they're compact shoebox size speakers. Everything at that size has limitations. But within those limitations, you just get this wonderful voicing that makes it uh, easy to listen to music. In fact, not just easy to listen to music, it makes it a genuinely pleasant experience time and time and time again. And it's wonderful to just kick back and enjoy your music without worrying about all these hi-fi adjectives and things of that sort. Now, obviously, these speakers aren't for everybody. Somebody who wants a more open, linear, and dynamic sound, you're gonna want to go for something a little different than the Harbess. But all in all, you get a pair of speakers that are of heirloom quality, you get a great sound, and you know that when you buy a pair of Harbess, you're getting something that's gonna be supported for many, many years to come. So, what more can I say? I, re I can't recommend them highly enough. So, thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, peace.